Greetings everybody, welcome back to Series Cubers Avengers in the Pillars of the Earth. We're still trying to gather all the people together so we can talk about the whole... Not burning of things, I guess. I don't know which guys we still need to convince. Uh, let's go into the main gate. Probably have to talk to these guys over here as well. I don't know if he did already. It's been actually a few days since I played, so... A little bit out of the loop. I can't even talk to these guys. What about Francis? I think I talked to him, didn't I? Philip, have you found something yet? Not yet. I will see what I can do. Okay, what about uh, Andrew? These guys already confirmed that they'll show up. Did I talk to Andrew? Maybe I haven't yet. The choir has finished singing. Ah, there we go. Andrew should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, do it now. The meeting could take a long time. I think I'm ready. Is there anything I wanted to do here still? Not that I can think of. I'm not ready. I don't want to go double check real quick, though. When you are. We must begin before nightfall. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have this is the thing we want to do the whole meeting. That's just about the thing, the the letter. I don't know if there is anything I wanted to do. Mm. No, I think it's hey, all. Look, I can't think of anything that's like left open. Let's do it. The chapter meeting is more important. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. We uh. all here knew him. So did you know him. How wise was Prior James, really? Philip, you are going too far. I will tell the bishop about this. Brothers, oh, let him smile. Brothers, please. Oh, Let's hear what he has please. to say. Oh, heavens. Hear him out, brothers. I was stubborn as well, but he made me see it. Well, that's not an easy thing to do. Here he is. I owe James much. He was the one who asked me to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision, then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Answer me. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I need to make him Is angry walking here. walking on thin ice wise? <gasps> Who does he think he is? May the Lord forgive him. He knows not what he is saying. No. I have taken offense to Philip's words myself today. Sometimes, Brother Philip ought to temper his words, but there is always truth in them. Yes, Philip asked us a question. Was it wise to walk out onto the ice? God was testing Prior James. I say the devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. Ah, uh, oh, no, let's do this one. Fire James confided in me. Then, the devil had a hand in his last wish as well. Yes, I think he's going to 
Ja, ja. Seems convincing. Well, I'm not so sure. The devil. Damn it. If the devil has come to Kingsbridge, we must cast him out. He's right there. He has come in the ways of neglect and self-righteousness. Let us look into the books and ledgers. Let us look into the problems that have ailed Kingsbridge for much too long. Don't you? Well, I suppose. How dare I agree? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, yeah. He is right. We should not make room for the devil. Neither here nor in our hearts. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes, he brought me a hot stone. Yeah. That's our Philip. That's me. Very well, Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation. Uh, I just want to help. We deserve the truth. What are your true intentions? I am here only to help this priory. Uh, this priory, of course. Maybe that's I a bad idea to lie. It is not a coincidence that he should make his voice heard now, shortly after James's passing and before the elections. What are you saying, Brother Remigius? This is not about James. It is about him. He wants to be proud. That's not true. No. I came here to talk to James. I think that is a wonderful idea. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior oh, wow. of Kingsbridge. <laughs> Oh, okay. I disagree with that. Well, yes, obviously, uh, my choice. Excellent choice. Or what about Remedius? That's surprising. Great Probably idea. Philip. Did someone just laugh in the background? Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Thank you for your kind offer. But we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remedius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Cool, let's inspect this letter. Part 2. Francis knows about the late King Henry, Empress Maud and King Stephen. Part 2. Dated 1st of January 1136. Our new King Stephen... Is it Stephen or Stephen? I think Stephen. Is supported by most of our Norman overlords and even by the church. His younger brother Henry is Bishop of Win uh, Winchester and one of the most important priests in all of England. He made Stephen swear an oath to reserve, uh, re yeah, reserve power to the church which had little influence on political affairs under King Henry. A good day for the church and for us. The trouble is that my Lord Earl Robert of Gloucester is one of the king's bastards. He wants to see his half-sister Maud on the throne, believing she would heavily rely on his guidance and advice during her reign. In the name of Empress Maud, he and his allies have formed a rebellion against King Stephen. Uh, Stephen. Not long now, and there will be war. Now, let us look for the letter. Well, that worked out perfectly, sort of. Where would he keep the letter? Probably, I don't know. Maybe in a book or something. James spent much time writing in the last ten years. Instead of a prior, he became more of a recluse. That is what you monks do, isn't it? 
It used to be. I bet it's this one there. The white looking one. No, I can't even select it. Huh. Interesting. A writing tablet. Daylight helps saving candles. You can see the whole prior priory from here. The handwriting on this tablet is hardly legible. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. Did Prior James write this? Let's continue looking. Hmm. Okay. Okay, nothing in this corner. Tome. Documents. Prior James used to teach. He wanted all brothers to read and write. Stopped teaching a few years ago. I wonder why. Prior James was working on a text. Our God is a consuming fire, and whom he destroyed shall be raised at the end of days and shall destroy him. The first line is from the scripture, but I do not believe the second one is. Philip, we must focus on the letter. Yeah, but we also gotta look around, you know, it's important. A priceless collection of wisdom. We saved it from the fire. Historical, secular, and religious texts. Nothing here. If we must, we'll look between the pages of every single book. But for now, let's concentrate on the more obvious places to search. I'm sure we'll find it. Don't worry about it. James slept here, a frail old man, at the mercy of his dreams. Nothing under here. Hmm. Actually, I should check more often. There might be four... Uh, four things he thinks about. A simple tablet. A mess on a, ta a table. Was Remigius searching for something? Hmm. Maybe he was looking for it too. Or maybe he found it and hid it. The writing here is strangely distorted and illegible. But it must be James's writing. Age can be a troublesome burden. Hmm. Mysterious. A Bible? What a mess. Disgraceful. Oh, Francis, that's a letter. I think I found it. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come. And who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal. Okay. Letter dated December 18th, 1135. Robert of Gloucester, name the day and we will be ready to shed blood in the name of Empress Maud. I and my bondsman will write against Stephen of Blois. Blois. We do not start the war, but we shall unleash it. Stephen himself started it the day he betrayed King Henry's daughter and took his throne. He and those who swore loyalty to him. Uh, Bartholomew, Bartholomew, Earl of Shiring. Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring is about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of that. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. The Bishop of Kingsbridge? The Bishop of Kingsbridge? Why? Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. Uh, 
Let's ask about those modus. You want the bishop to help the new king, King Stephen? I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My lord, the Earl of Gloucester, can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's a big decision here. Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, I guess I'll do it thinking about it so he wants to support King Stephen Stephen is the one that took the throne right I'm always bad with these things but like hmm I guess I'll agree do you really think the bishop will help tell him you found the letter by coincidence and if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shiring? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? Okay, what you did? You helped Francis to uncover a conspiracy against the king. You were nominated to become prior of Kingsbridge. You agreed to meet the bishop. You reported Brother Marcus the thief. You gave Brother Paul a hot stone and soothed his pain. Remedius still holds you in contempt. You found a message in the mill. I wonder if there's like other hidden things still that we didn't get. Really curious if the game really does change a lot if you choose to not go with Francis' plan. I may have to check that out one day on like a different save file. Kind of curious about that. All right, one part of this chap of this book done. Chapter two. Jack. New character. Uh, hunt for food, current location, uh, location, shoot forest. We have a slingshot. Rally misses. Okay, can we inspect this? No, right? No. Cool, alright. Ooh, there's a boar. Did you just kill it? Dead. Rotting. What a waste. <laughs> okay. Stomach growls. Okay, we don't have any... Knives or whatever, right? Where else can we go here? Can we go to this side? Oh, there's something. Hoof prints. That's probably from the boar, maybe? Deer marks are ah, fresh. Stay alert, Jack. Hmm, there's a dead boar in the deer marks. Alright. Scanning for hotspots. I know I could use that button, but oh, there it is. Oh, I have to kill the deer. There you are. Now, don't move. It will soon be over. I guess this is rotten, so we can't eat that one. Ah, oh, that's sad. But hey, it's nature. <laughs> oh, maybe I fail. No, I did it. Ah, oh, he ran off anyway. Okay. So close. Now don't fail, Jack. Ah, oh, so sad. I wonder if I actually missed the first time. Oh, you seem really young. This will bring us through winter. Mother will be proud. Oh, he does have a knife. My name is Jack. For a long time, it was the only name I had known. 
I was born and raised in a cave by my mother. We were used to getting by, but that year the winter had been harsh. I was proud to have killed my first deer that day. And while waiting for mother to help me cure it, I decided to practice my reading. The cave. Okay, so this is like a Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great. Memory has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. Hmm. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh. I don't know. Remember. He. Think harder. He's a brain. Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh, sure. Before him, not a single fort remains. Afternoon was approaching fast, and Mother still hadn't returned. So, if I wanted to cure the meat, I had to do it on my own. Else it would all go to waste. I wonder if that was the right verse, or if he just made it up. Soon I would know it all by my heart. Uh, all by heart. What exactly, what kind of book is this? Just a history book or something? I don't know. Mother needs to chop more wood. Where is she anyway? Not sure what I did there. Just checking the fire, I guess. Okay, there's a lot here. Castle? Caves upon caves. Horses and cows in between. That's what a rear tower must look like. Oh, he built a little castle, I see. <laughs> there he is. Charles the Great, the protector of my town. You're coming with me. Oh. Charles the Great, made by mother. What do you drop there? Oh, just a bit of the tower fell off. Nice. No, oh, that doesn't stick. <laughs> Charles the Great. He said it very... Um, as if he doesn't like that Charles guy a little bit. Where did she go? Ooh. A bow. Ellen's bow. Ellen and Jack keep a variety of short and long-ranged weapons in their home. The two lead uh, their lives as outlaws... Or let their lives at all outlaws outside of a society and a protection of the law. A bow can serve as an invaluable tool both for hunting and self-protection. Most outlaws were once accused of a crime but failed to appear for judgment. According to the law, their contracts, uh, claims and ownership then fell void. As outlaws have no rights, anyone can harm them or capture them and turn them in. Thus, many outlaws turn to a life of fighting and severity. That mom is probably gone. <laughs> <laughs> what if she got captured or something? Our last nuts and turnips. The rest has gotten moldy. Mother says it's worse. It's the worst winter ever. Crunches on a nut. Sorry for sounding really nasy. My nose is like running like crazy. Stupid allergies or something. My first deer. Mother will be so proud. I can't eat it raw. No, of course I need not. To cure it. Meat goes bad fast. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I take too long, <laughs> it will go bad. One book is in French, the other in Latin. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how do I... So there's the venison. There's the sacks. Tools, which I can't do anything with. Oh, locks. Dry wood for fire. Alright. I guess it's hanging over the fire. I see it now. Okay. It was a bit difficult to see there for a second. I can still attack with the castle. Let's see if I try it a couple more times. No. Because like, I can't attack with some of the other ones anymore. No. Okay. Poor thing. Poor castle. Good. It's warmer. Now I need some wet wood to make it smoke properly. Ah. Interesting. Wet wood. Can we go outside? Huh? 
was that? What's that noise uh, coming from the forest? Oh, is that uh, the first family? For slingshot practice. Take the twigs. Should I go and investigate this or should I make the food? You know what? I should probably... F mm. as, as interested as I am in finding out what that noise is, I should start preparing this food because if I come back... If I come back, when I come back, Mother will um, be proud. Yeah, the the food wouldn't be ready if I don't do it right now. So maybe yeah. this is What's better. That noise? Or maybe he would just go if I try to investigate. Maybe he'll be like, I can't go that way yet. I need to prepare food. It's also a possibility. <laughs> oh yes, it's this place. Can't build, can't throw. Too big to be useful. Isn't it? Uh, no, it's a different text. I was wondering if that's the same text that... What's his face said? Yeah. The ice broke. It hasn't mended yet. I better stay alert. There's a horse now. Oh, Francis. That's his mom. Wait, where did the kids go then? And the dad? Good. He hasn't seen you. Who is he? A whip. That's what he is. A whip. That means he's someone bad. I told you about people like him, remember? He doesn't really look bad. Is he a monk? Is oh, he's he a, a priest, monk? right? Oh, he's a monk. Okay, never mind. Although not an ordinary one. Maybe an official for someone important. I don't like this one bit. He looks nice, though. He's smiling. This cub. I am sorry. I know there's so much you want to know about the world out there. But for now, we must stay hidden. And never trust a man of God. Least of all his compassion. You'll either end up in a monastery or at the gallows. Easy now, it's just someone little. No need to be afraid. I'm going to follow him. You go home and wait for me, little cub. Why are you going to follow him? What's the point of that? And where did all the, the rest of the family go? That's super weird. A piece of cloth covered in blood. Did the monk leave it? Like, why would they just abandon a kid? Mysterious. Something was buried here, or someone. Food, some treasure. Ah, uh, I don't. Sure, interact with this. Okay, let's see. Oh no, it's probably bad. Yep. <gasps> I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. He doesn't. Okay, he's just like. Oh. I wonder if he's gonna think that Francis killed her, killed her and took her baby or something. Uh, but I'm gonna have to end the episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.